Hey! How are you? We are so happy today to share with you a Nano Reef Tank update. We are going to change this bottle top off with a new auto top off system. Again, thanks to Huger our sponsor for providing the HG987 for review. More on this during the video and by using the links in the description. Okay. The Huger Auto Top Off System HG987 is available on Amazon. We do not have an affiliate link. Let unbox it together though and see how it works. The user manual is pretty straightforward and simple to read. What is exciting is the level monitor, it is tiny and comes in two parts. Through the monitor you get the power for other sensors apparently. More on that later on during the video. Huger also provide tubing and piping to connect to the holding bucket. One power adapter, and a hose bracket to hold the inlet above the water surface. All are nicely designed, looking pretty sturdy and durable. Can't wait to hook them up. Oh. Wow. It has a magnet on it. This is pretty convenient. It allows us to move it around the water holding bucket, without the need for extra tools or hooks. Similarly to the water monitor, which makes it convenient to adjust according to the desired water level. The water pump is tiny and mighty. You'll see when we hook it up. It doesn't come with a holding tank though. We had this little bucket laying around that we are going to use. And we'll replace it if necessary. One thing to take care of is the hose brackets. You'll have to adjust to make it fit for water top off and not water drainage. It is easy to install with two screws. Being made of plastic it will keep your glass safe from scratches. It is advised in the manual to keep the hose above the water surface and not inside the water. Once you push the pipe through, the adjustment plate can be attached to orient it downwards and keep it in place. Enough with the hardware. Now we'll install each component separately. Starting with the water pump. It is as simple as attaching the pipe and dropping it to the bottom of the bucket. Or, if you choose to using the suctions attach it on the side. Once installed, fill the bucket. In our case we use row water. Try to avoid running the pump with no water. We use row water only to accommodate for evaporated water. Before adding a dosing pump we might add the chemicals needed if we travel. As we mentioned earlier during the video. The water level monitor, comes in two magnetic pieces. The sensor goes inside and the electronics on the outside. It has several LED indicators, one for each component. It serves as the brain of operations. Being tiny and small, makes it ideal for nano tanks. It doesn't take too much place in the tank and is fancy looking on the outside. Conveniently it comes on the side and not like the old bottle on top of the tank. So, we plug the water pump in the first jack where it is indicated. And install the remaining components. It might be a good idea to plug everything at once before installation. But we decided to go this way for the video purpose only. Because this Huger Nano Top Off system comes with a water level sensor. You won't need to worry about the water shortage in the spare water tank. It can be adjusted to notify you when new water should be added. And now, the moment of truth. Let's hook it up and see what happens. Oh. Oh you. This is not good. We did something wrong. Check the manual. 
It's fine. Just because the water monitor was detecting the sensor below the desired water level. We should move the internal sensor to desired position. Like half of it should be above the water. A line graphic indicates the level needed. Let's give the holding bucket water sensor a try. We'll just move it above the surface to try it. So this is your indicator to fill up with new water. And avoid running the pump without water. The bucket volume can be adjusted depending on your needs. This will last us at least a week in summer. Well everything works perfect now. The same tank had the nano water pump last week and it is doing well so far. Only a minor problem with the candy cane coral, but it is our mistake directing the flow towards it. And that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to, like, share, and subscribe. Also leave us in the comment what you think. Goodbye. Au revoir. Enjoy.